Hi everyone, my name is Onalyn Paichit. I am also known as Lena. Today I will be presenting our paper, A Taxonomy of Functional Augmented Reality for Human-Robot Interaction. Augmented Reality, or AR, technologies are currently more frequently being introduced to human-robot interaction, or HRI, to mediate the interaction between human and robot. AR constitutes a vast field of research in human-computer interaction, and as it is picking up in HRI, it is timely to articulate the current knowledge and information about the functionalities of AR and HRI. While some literature reviews have been published, so far no classifications have been devised for the functionalities of AR and HRI. Here we present an overview of HRI styles, including how AR comes into play and we propose a multi-dimensional taxonomy for AR and HRI that distinguishes the type of perception augmentation, the functional role of AR, and the augmentation artifact type. We place sample publications within the taxonomy to demonstrate its utility. Lastly, we derive from the taxonomy some research gaps in current AR for HRI research and provide suggestions for exploration beyond the current state of the art. As a bit of a background in regards to augmented reality, we first must look into the reality-virtuality continuum. The concept of a reality-virtuality continuum was proposed in 1995. Essentially, one end of the spectrum is the virtual environment, which represents a completely synthetic environment. The opposite end of the spectrum represents a completely real environment. Between these two ends is mixed reality, or MR, in which both virtual and real elements are present within the same display to the user. Within MR, AR sits closer to the real environment's end of the continuum, while augmented virtuality, or AV, resides closer to the virtual environment. The difference between AR and AV is that the former is referred to as the incorporation of virtual objects into a real environment, whereas AV is reserved for the inclusion of real objects to a virtual environment. Here's a diagram we built which provides an overview of the current human-robot interaction styles. We have kinesthetic interaction, graphical user interface mediated interaction, simulation, internet of things mediated interaction, teleoperation. Now in the realm of virtuality, we have virtual reality or VR. The user resides in a virtual environment and interacts with the robot, which may reside in the real world or virtual environment. Similar to VR, but with an incorporation of real world content, we have mixed reality. Mixed reality enables the fusion of digital and real world content. On the left hand side of the spectrum of mixed reality is augmented reality, where digital content is superimposed over the real world environment to enhance the interaction between human and robot. On the other hand, augmented virtuality is where real-world objects are instead merged into the virtual world. A possible augmented virtuality scenario, for instance, is one involving a real physical robot in a virtual environment. In this work, we focus on AR and HRI, where we unfold key interaction styles that can take place in that space. The goal of augmented reality as a human-robot interface can be to provide additional information to the human or the robot or both. The transfer of additional information can also be defined as the augmentation of perception. We propose the classification of perception augmentation types as the first dimension of our taxonomy. The purpose of augmented reality can be divided into categories. One, to augment human perception, or two, to augment the robot's perception. Note that augmentation of perception of both members may occur simultaneously. AR can be used to modify the perception of the human. However, which part of the human's perception is being augmented? In the current context of HRI, this category can be subdivided to accommodate the three entities involved in a typical HRI task, the human, the robot, and the environment. An example of augmented human perception of the robot can involve a robot wheelchair displaying obstacles in the user's desired path to clarify to the user why the planned path must be changed. An example of augmented human perception of the environment is this robot which performs point cloud change detection in the environment and visually highlights these changes to the user. AR can also be used to augment the user's self-perception. For example, AR has been used to visualize the user's air-drawn model for a 3D robotic printing task. 
Just as AR can be used to augment the perception of the human, it can also be used to augment the perception of the robot. An example of augmented robot perception is when HRI is enabled by integrating AR with the brain-computer interface. To send commands to the robot, the human gazes on the desired flickering option shown in the AR display. AR can also augment the robot's perception of the environment. For example, it has been used to allow the user to define regions of obstacles to the robot to supplement the robot's perception of the environment. An example of augmented robot perception of self includes the ability for the user to give feedback to the robot on its incorrect performance. This new information from the human therefore allows the robot to update its comprehension. Although the classification in the previous section presents the different places of perceptual augmentation, it includes every minuscule interaction and hence does not describe the overall high-level function for the user. We present this next dimension of the taxonomy, which fulfills this by highlighting the user-centered functional roles of AR and HRI. Our first category is artificial timescale. This functionality provides a virtual scene that is not based on the re present reality. It is used to alter the timeline by using it to imagine the future, have a glimpse into the past, or envision the impossibility. An example is when the user is able to virtually fly the future version of the robot in real time. Next is augmented comprehension of the present reality. In contrast to artificial timescale, in this functionality, AR is used to augment the understanding of the present reality. As an example, in a human-robot collaborative car door assembly task, AR has been used to visualize to the human the objects hidden inside a toolbox. Our last category is augmented control. In this category, AR is used to provide robot control to the user. For instance, users were able to control the robot by using tongue movements to select options in an AR menu. This dimension has now given us the why for AR and HRI. Now, we present the next dimension, which will examine the how. In AR, virtual objects are presented to the user on the user's display to deliver information. These artifacts can be classified based on their functions. Augmented embodiment, in which the artifact is placed on the robot body, on the human body, or as a whole new robot. Next is augmented interactive objects. These are virtual objects placed in the real world which the human or robot could interact with. Augmented user interface refers to cases in which the virtual objects are fixed in place on the user display regardless of the orientation or location of the user viewpoint. Lastly, augmented scene refers to the remaining virtual objects which do not fit into any of the aforementioned categories. They simply contribute to present the scene on the AR display. Using our taxonomy, we categorize the 20 most cited publications in AR for HRI between the years of 2011 to 2020 and 2021. As shown in Table 1, all studies but one fall under all three subcategories of augmented human perception. This suggests that high importance is placed on the augmentation of human perception. This is as expected as AR technologies are primarily used to aid the human experience. The range of human perception augmentations, therefore, tends to be more well-researched than that of the robot. From our work, we also found some potential research directions for AR specific to the HRI context. Although the augmented human perception is widely employed in AR for HRI, it may be insightful to examine how augmented perception is used. With ongoing research in human-in-the-loop learning agents, bringing AR into the field could be advantageous as it expands interaction capabilities. For future research, it may also be insightful to investigate if there is a link between the functional role of AR and the robot's task, or also the relationship between the artifact type and the task of the robot. To take the full MR spectrum into account, further work will need to be undertaken to include augmented virtuality. Currently, AV is largely unexplored in HRI. With our proposed categories, we hope to help future research find inspiration to explore the various functional scenarios. We also hope that our proposed taxonomy can be used to help future research describe the functional roles of AR, as well as the artifacts used to achieve these functions. Thank you.